Hello lovelies, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on wherever you are. My name is Mary, this is Glue News, we'll be bringing you the latest update on what is going on in Nigeria. So guys, on today's news, we have Huriwa attacks Buhari over extension of lockdown. So guys, before we go into full details on this news, I would love for you to click on the red subscribe button down below, and also don't forget to click on the notification bell, so whenever we upload new videos, you'll be updated. Moving on into the news. President Buhari on Saturday again urged Nigerians to remain at home as the government makes efforts to tackle the spread of coronavirus across the country. He had assured Nigerians that relief materials will soon be distributed to their homes. Reacting, the rights group said the indefinite shutdown of Nigeria and the rigid language adopted by President Mohamed Buhari shows that there are still some vestiges of the military dictatorial hangover surrounding the running of governmental affairs. Huriwa accused President Mohamed Buhari and his political task force on COVID-19, headed by the politician boss Mustafa, of copying and passing the measures put in place by many civilized and highly sophisticated nations of the West, which have clearly made transparent and accountable provision of relief and palliatives for their citizens, including a range of systematic economic recovery and growth plan. The group in a statement signed and made available to Teli Post by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Owubiko, stated that President Mohamed Buhari, who was a former military dictator, has decided to cut himself away and hide away in the cocoon of the fortified mansion away from the Nigerian people and is only appearing like a village masquerade during annual yam festivals, adding that the development is a sign of a clear failure of charismatic leadership which we need in times of health emergency. There is no justification or any scientific evidence to provide a balanced and rationally objective reasons for the indefinite lockdown by President Mohamed Buhari copying dubiously and dishonestly the policies put in place by such advanced societies like the United States of America or the United Kingdom when it is so clear that the federal government of Nigeria, for now, has failed to disclose scientifically to Nigerians the immediate short- and long-term strategies and actionable templates that the government is implementing to effectively and efficiently contain the, the coronavirus pandemic. It's highly unscientific for President Mohamed Buhari to shut down the country on the nebulous ground that our economic and social life can only be restarted at the whims and caprices of some persons he whimsically identifies as his scientists who are about the only Nigerians living ostentatiously of the financial resources of the nations. We subscribe to the expert opinion of Alan Whiteside that the current global public response can best be described as mild hysteria. On the economic side, the scholar stated that there has been some recovery, but the market can best be described as jittery. Huriwa is worried that the grave human rights implication of locking down hungry, jobless and desperate populations of mostly youngsters who are basically outside the age bracket of this categories that the World Health Organization regard is at risk is tantamount to the invitation of civil unrest because it is inevitable that rather than millions of citizens stay at their homes without electricity and without foods and die they will rather pour out on the streets to cause social chaos and anarchy so guys that is it on this news I would love to add some few comments to it so guys, as you can see, our president has extended lockdown to indefinite. You see, this is a government where there is no plan, where there is nobody intelligent enough to actually put policies that make sense to provide strategies that will help and aid in fighting this coronavirus pandemic. How can you be uh, initiating a lockdown indefinitely? When the, the one you did for two weeks, you can see the result, you can see the outcome, you can see that people have started becoming restless. You can see that people are going out to start committing more crimes in other countries where there is lockdown. You see the rate of crime reduced. But in a country like Nigeria, it will increase because the average Nigeria hustles on a daily basis. It's not a situation of stay and work from home. No. How many Nigerians can stay and work from home? Where's the technology? Where's the lights? It's not like Nigerians are not smart enough to know what to do. They know. They know that this lockdown is for their own good. They know that this thing is the right thing to do. 
but then when you want to implement such policies you should be able to provide palliatives at least see the money that they say they've been sharing since i don't know how many people have received this money all we've heard is stories and now he's extending it indefinitely people are going to die people are going to suffer from this children that have been dying since people that have been sick since they've not been recording it all is the one that he will share rice that is not good they will record is the one that he will share audio money that they will record you see this government is all about lies it's all about stealing and it's all about loot looting the earlier people recognize this fact and stop supporting evil the better for them because i still believe there's still some gullible nigerians i still believe that this is the right government how can we have a government in, 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 in that that does not care about its people at all and they expect us to survive in, in for lockdown indefinitely how is that possible this method should be used for countries like america for us those are countries that they have a working system they have a healthcare system they have economy we don't have any of this next news we have lagos residents cry out as armed robbers take over Residents of Lagos State have cried out over the spate of robbery attacks going on in most parts of the state. In recent days, several video clips of armed robbers invading streets and homes have been emerged from the state, with the latest coming last night when three men were caught with a gun at Iyani Paja in the Agege area of the state. According to some residents who share their experiences on Twitter, no one cares about social distancing or being affected by coronavirus disease anymore as bad boys have taken over the state. They are calling on the government and the state commissioner of police to beef up security in the state as people no longer sleep with their two eyes closed. Some comments gathered by daily posts from the social media show that no part of Lagos is safe and that things may get worse if the lockdown continued without adequate palliatives put in place by the government. If the robbery isn't happening in your area, you don't know what God has done for you. Our gege is upside down. We don't even know the difference between the Awawa boys and the armed robbers. Everyone is just with cutlass and tires are being burnt. God save us. What are the politicians we all voted for doing? All these guys of Lagos taking it upon themselves to protect their community now. If they should catch one of those criminals and lynch now, police will come and put their fingers inside their nostrils and say, Say no to jungle justice. If we call off the lockdown, COVID-19 virus will spread. If the lockdown remains, social unrest will escalate further and many people will be hungry. This is a case of choosing the lesser of two evils. Either ways, we are in deep shit. So guys, that is the end of this news. So you, you see what I was saying earlier about social unrest, about lesser of two evils. You see, there's no way you will keep people that ha have no food have no resources of getting food, have no money. You pack them together and tell them, please stay at home. And you don't expect them to start looking for evil things to do. And I do man is the devil's workshop. And average Nigeria loves to work hard. They struggle. They hustle. Nigerians are hard workers. Go out anywhere in the world, even with the, 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 the rate of fraud and all that. We are still hard workers. We cannot deny that one. And then you expect these people to stay at home without food. What do you expect? The so-called government that is supposed to be protecting these people, that is supposed to be looking out for people, that's supposed to be providing security, where are they? Are they saying they are not or seeing all these things that are happening in the media? This thing ha started happening about two days ago. No response. It is now out to the, the citizens of uh, civilians in Lagos to start providing security for themselves. Yet, if it's to stand on roadblock and be collecting money, embarrassing young boys, killing people, on the road you will see them but now it's time for them to come and protect people you are not hearing anything of them they will not say anything on the news for these people to come out so people are people have people are being raped people are being killed people are being harassed in their homes people cannot sleep at night there is no light so tell me how you even supposed to see these criminals in the first place there is no light these are the people that say we should go on lockdown no? that evil man just locked himself in Asso rock Hiding there, thinking that it's a safe place. God knows that the justice that is coming for these politicians. It is here back here now. They say he went to he, he was sick with coronavirus. Where is he? The Buhari that is supposed to be coming out, giving out hope to Nigerians, at least enforcing things. This is not a time for people to be joking. He's busy keeping quiet.
hiding in Asso Rock. <laughs> a time will come when justice will always prevail because this it cannot go on like this. So how on earth is it possible to practice social distancing in an environment that is overpopulated, overcrowded, dirty? So guys, that is it on this news. I would love to hear what you think down in the comment section below also don't forget to like subscribe and share this video so that others will watch it thank you for supporting this channel bye